In this video, we are asked to find the volume of the solid inside of the cylinder x squared plus y squared equals 9 and the ellipsoid to x squared plus 2y squared plus z squared equals 36. So I ask for from alpha to plot the ellipsoid. It's like an egg, as you can see. And a cylinder, as I imagine. So first of all, I can see that the radius of the cylinder circle is 3, while the radius of the ellipsoid is 6. So it's going to be smaller. That's why it's kind of inscribed like so. And at some point, we'll touch the borders of the egg inside. And this creates this uh, 3D shape. Very interesting, but apparently the shape like that exists called elliptic cylinder. Precule idea. So elliptic cylinder with the shape of an egg as you can see they ask us to find this kind of shape the solid that was created from this intersection let's figure out how we're going to do it without using uh, very stupid uh, uh, cartesian coordinates because everything is easy and polar if you're working with x squared plus y squared or anything that looks like spheres or circles definitely let's start with picture we already have the picture here it is we need to find this solid over here here it is picture is done good job now let's figure out formulas so x squared plus y squared equals three square that's a uh, circle circle with radius three radius three centered at zero zero so we can always change it into r squared equals 3 squared and we might be doing it later because x squared plus y squared equals r squared nice how about 2x squared plus 2y squared plus z squared equals 6 squared that is ellipsoid with the radius 6 right so i would factor out 2 we want to find intersections of this, just like I mentioned before, because this intersection over here and over here will tell me how actually large the radius can go. Because just in ellipsoid, radius can go really big from here and then small over here. But in intersection, radius will have a different number. So we will find intersection between x squared plus y squared equals 3 squared. This intersection will give us important information. So we need to have uh, this circle instead. How would I do that? I would factor out from the first equation 2. It will give me x squared plus y squared plus z squared equals 6 squared. And now I can actually change that into r. Or I can even plug right away that x squared plus y squared is 3 squared doesn't really matter or I can plug the R thing which is also 3 squared so I guess let's do like so x squared plus y squared is 3 squared so it's going to be 2 multiplied by 3 squared plus z squared equals 6 squared solve for z z squared Yeah, I just realized that we do not need a concrete number. We will plug r squared. Yeah, that is better. r squared over here. And solve for z. z will be inside of the integral. So we will have integral and then z over here. r dr d theta. So that's what we're looking for. z squared will be 36 minus... 2r squared z is a square root plus or minus right 36 minus 2r squared so this is what we need z will be going inside of the integral and we can make a note since from the picture we can see that uh, there's a symmetry we don't have to do positive square root minus negative square root right so we can just double actually the volume of this upper half. We're going to say that since the top half equals the bottom half, so there's a symmetry. Symmetry. 
we will have instead volume will be 2 of the integrals a square root of 36 minus 2 r squared remember z goes inside of the integral and then the formula r dr d theta nice so the only part left is to figure out uh, how far the radius goes and theta we'll look at this 2d picture of the cross intersection of this cylinder and the egg <laughs> which is ellipsoid right this is the 2d picture of this circle over here so you can do like y and x it rotates all around uh, the circle so from so theta is from 0 to 2 pi that one was actually the easy part uh, the full rotation can be written as angle from 0 to 2 pi how far does the radius go we have three radii here. The radius of the cylinder, the which is three, and the radius of the ellipsoid, which is six. And then, as you can see, the one, the smaller one, gives me the radius we need because that's the intersection. So we can claim that this is important. So when we found this equation of the circle, we can say now that to create a disk, remember that the disk is filled in circle. The radius runs from 0 to 3, and that gives us the borders of the R variable. But in general, you can just see that the smaller radius wins, because the bigger one, the bigger radius is going to be over here for you to understand. It's not necessarily needed. We need to cut it off if you imagine we are making this shape from cutting the egg in pieces cutting off extra pieces of the egg so radius will be from 0 to 3 and now we need to integrate this but the integral is ready so if this is what's the hardest part for you now you know how the integral looks like okay let's figure out what to do here and we're going to do u substitution again because I can see that this part can be called u and in general if you see a square root with stuff inside you don't like it, call it u and this will be part of the du so let's figure out u substitution again comes for the raise q 36 minus 2r squared is u du will be minus 4r squared dr then in this case let's solve for dr like so and dr becomes so we need this into the formula and this into the formula of the integral dr will be divided by negative 4r squared it will be 1 over negative 4r squared du divided by minus 4r squared don't forget to change limits for integration 0 becomes 36 because u is 36 minus 2r squared but 3 becomes 36 minus 2 times 3 squared 36 minus 9 times 2 is 18 which is 18 very nice we also need this for the new integral but it's only integral inside if you remember to integral from 0 to 2 pi d theta is keep waiting square root of so we will have inside square root of u r stays this r was not changed so i will keep it here but uh, dr is now changed it's going to be one over minus okay that's too messy let me do this minus one over four r squared du and then d theta is waiting till the end simplify so let's see what's going to happen here we are going to have simplification of r squared and r just one over r here that did not really help but okay maybe it's good now um 
2 and minus 1 quarter will be minus 1 half from 0 to 2 pi integral new in limits will be 36 and 18 36 and 18 squared of u 1 over r du d theta the r parts should disappear so we'll have to figure out what to do with that okay yeah that's the mistake i caught did you get did you catch the mistake the derivative was wrong um derivative of minus 2 r squared is minus 4 r so it's actually much easier solve for dr there will be no r squared here and that makes the situation much better because then there will be no r squared in the denominator and r and 1 over r completely cancel out that is much better so fix the derivative and then dr very good so there's no piece here i'll just pretend it never happened why not it's gonna be du d theta perfect i hope at least negative one half is correct because now i don't trust myself minus 4r divided by minus 4 2 was at the beginning there looks good to me looks pretty good to me okay let's keep going see what's going to happen later so from 0 to 2 pi integral inside uh, u squared of u will be u to the 1 half u to the 3 halves multiplied by 2 thirds that's the integral of u from 36 to 18 d theta we are almost done these are u variables so you don't have to go back to the original notation from 0 to 2 pi you have okay two thirds times negative one half will be negative one third 18 raised to the three halves minus 36 raised to the three halves d theta and again since there is no theta variable it will be just times 2 pi so this number just times 2 pi that is the result of integration here because there is no variable so it gives you theta theta plus 2 pi and 0 now let's figure out these numbers this is a square root of 18 cubed and this one is a square root of 36 cubed right which is 9 cubed minus 6 cubed which is okay i caught several mistakes let's fix them square root of 18 is not 9 that was dumb to assume <laughs> so let's fix that and also why this one half convert was converted from uh, one third so it's minus one third so that will not cancel out with two pi it's going to be minus two pi over three 6 cube is still going to be fine, but the square root of 18 is actually 4 to 4 cubed, like so. Perfect. Anyway, this is much better because in the previous result, the num negative number was bigger than the positive number, so I got negative volume, and that hinted that something was wrong. But with this result, actually, the volume is positive because it's going to be 2, 16, minus 4, 2. Well, let's keep it actually exact if you want. 18 raised to the 3 halves multiplied by 2 pi over 3. This is the exact answer. And it is positive because 2, 16 is larger than that small number, 2.24 cubed. So, uh, not, yeah. So, this is approximately, I actually have the approximate answer for you to check, 292.45. So, hopefully you received this answer from your results. And then if you're curious, then I will tell you that 
the square root of 18, which is 4.24, raised to the third power is just 76.36. So this is 76.36, and it's good that it's smaller then the whole answer is positive because remember we're working with volumes so the answer should be positive if you got negative answer go back and find the typo or calculational mistake thank you for watching